Hi, welcome back to Camtube channel. I'm Jago Wong. Today we are going to look at Melaka trial papers in paper 1. Let's start. Okay, question number 1. Who discovered uh, neutrons? Okay, if we look into the answer, okay, nail balls, new nail balls. Okay, actually is uh, this he, he discovered the electrons move around the orbit. Eh? Okay, electrons move around the orbit. So it is not the one uh, who discovered the neutron. Okay, Delton. Delton actually he discovered the atom. Okay. Then JJ Thomson. Thomson okay, discovered electrons. So the, the answer should be James Shawit. So he discovered the neutrons. Okay, question number two. Which of the following is a molecule? So molecules is com a combination of two atoms through the sharing of electrons. So two or more atoms are uh, combined together through the uh, sharing of electrons. So number one, neon. No, neon is an atom because it is a stable or tet electron arrangement uh, under group 18. So ammonia, ammonia. Okay, ammonia, the formula is NH3. So it's combination between the uh, nitrogen and hydrogen through the sharing of electron. Okay, yes, correct. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is combination between the sodium ions and chloride ions. So it is a ionic compound. Potassium hexasenoferate 3 is also the uh, ions. Uh, ions. So also ions. So the answer is B. Oh. Okay, so for this kind of question, so molecules normally it refer to covalent compound. Okay, covalent. So if ionic compound, so normally it forms by the ions. Huh? Okay, number three, which of the follow, uh, following pairs of compound are for uh, the formula is correct? Huh? Okay, sodium sulfate. Okay, sodium is Na positive. Sulfate is SO4, 2 minus. So we interchange the charge numbers. So 1 and 2. So this one, okay, this one is strong. Huh? So it's, it's strong. So it should be sodium sulfate. So it's sodium sulfate. Okay. Uh, this one is correct. This one is wrong. Okay. This one is correct. Okay. Copper 2 oxide. So copper 2 and then oxide. Huh? So interchange the numbers, so it should be CuO. La. This one is wrong. So CuO. Okay, then iron 3 chloride. So iron 3 chloride Cl minus. So interchange the numbers. So it should be Fe Cl3. Okay, so this one is wrong. And zinc nitrate, zinc 2 plus nitrate is NO3 minus 1. Okay, so in the change in numbers, okay, so this is correct. So the answer is D. Okay. Now for diagram shows the setup of apparatus for the uh, to study the process one. Okay. So bromine gas is brown color. Brown gas. So after you remove the cover, okay, you can see the Bromine, brown bromine gas, uh, it separate to the another gas jar here. So actually, this process is called diffusion. Okay, diffusion. Okay, number five. Okay, which of characteristics is similar to all the elements in group seventeen? Okay, group seventeen is a halogen. Eh? It has seven valence electrons. Okay, so what is the similar characteristics? So it forms a colored compound. Okay, no, because it is colored compound is for transition, eh? transition uh, elements. It is which, which is from group uh, three to group twelve. Okay, it has high melting, uh, melting and boiling points. Also, no. Okay, this is for metals. Eh? Like group alkaline group one, group two, and so on. Is this as gas in the room temperature? Okay, some 
group 70 exists as gas but not all huh? get like uh, iodine like astatine it is in the gas form uh, in the solid form uh, like bromine is in the uh, liquid form okay so this one also out not correct huh? dissolve in water to form the acidic uh, solution yes okay so D. Okay, number six okay argon gas is used to fill the electric bulb because of its uh, inert property so which of the following best explanation of the property okay so argon you have to know it is under group 18 eh? is uh, inert gases so which one is the best explanation okay low density is not the one Okay, monoatomic is correct, but it is not the best explanation for the inner properties. So it has achieved stable or electron arrangement. Yes. So wherever you are uh, finding the inner properties or stable properties, uh, you go for the uh, electron arrangement. Okay, or tag or duplex electron arrangement. Okay. It is group 18 is correct, but it's not the best explanation for the stable property or inner property. Okay, next, which of the following is the correct uh, change in the property of elements across the period in the periodic table? So, which one is the correct change? Eh? Okay, let's see one by one from left to right now. From left to right. So, the, act the atomic radius increases. Yeah, it should be decreases uh, decreases no relative atomic decreases okay relative atomic mass decreases no should be increase the number of proton in each atom increase yes okay correct the number of valence neutron in each atom decreases should be increases uh, so wrong so the answer is C la. okay and number eight okay z is located in the same group as neon okay so neon is group 18 eh? group 18 so it's the inner gases okay which of the following are the characteristics of the z okay chemically inert yes one is yes so c and d out already la. so whether it's two and or three la, is correct it's a monoatomic particles correct can conduct electricity now liquid no so it's one and two la. a is the answer okay, question number nine the okay, diagram two shows the setup of apparatus for the experiment to determine the empirical formula of the magnesium oxide okay so this is this apparatus is for the uh, reactive metals huh? like magnesium like zinc okay so we, why the crucible lid open, uh, need to be open occasionally during the heating? Okay, to avoid explosion or no? To cool down the magnesium? No. To allow the oxygen to enter the crucible? Uh, yes, this is a process. So that it can react. Uh, so magnesium, it can react with oxygen. So it forms a magnesium oxide. Okay. So to see what happened inside, okay, no, it's not the reason. C is the answer. Okay, number ten. Okay, rate of diffusion depends on the mass of the gas particles. So which uh, gas uh, has the highest rate of diffusion? Okay, rate of diffusion, highest rate, meaning that it diffuses the fastest, uh, fastest. Okay, so in this question, you have to know that if the particles in need to diffuse faster so the uh, the weight uh, or the mass should be lighter okay should be lighter so in other words you need to total up or find out the molar mass for the uh, elements given uh, compounds given here so which uh, compound it has the uh, lightest uh, molar mass then it can diffuse fastest Okay, so we talked about uh, use the uh, relative atomic mass given here. So C, we look into the carbon di uh, carbon oxide, uh, monoxide. Carbon is 12 plus oxygen is 16. So it's uh, 
28 okay so hydrochloric acid now or hydrogen chloride 1 plus 35.5 so it's 36.5 so ammonia ammonia N is 14 H is 1 1 times 3 is also, so 17 sulfur dioxide sulfur is 32 plus 16 times 2 so total is 64 okay so if we compare all the uh, molar mass uh, calculated here so C is the lightest so it can diffuse fastest so it has the highest rate of diffusion question 11 okay which of the following pairs are part properties of the sodium chloride eh? okay and NaCl so sodium chloride you have to know it is ionic compound so ionic compound because it is formed by the sodium ions and then the chloride ions eh? chloride ions okay number one okay solubility uh, yes it is soluble in water and then in conduct electricity in the molten state yes in the molten state means it heat until it is melt eh? Okay, so soluble in organic solvent, okay, wrong. Not conducting, also wrong. Insoluble in water, wrong. Conducting, correct. Insoluble in organic solvent, correct. Not conducting, wrong. So the answer is A. 12. Which ions is present in the molten sodium chloride? So molten state means you heat, you heat the sodium chloride until it is melt okay it is not the solution eh? so it consists of sodium and chloride only oh? so if it is solution sodium chloride solution then it has the uh, hydrogen and the hydroxide ions in the solution because it dissolves in water a molten okay it has uh, two types of ions only 13 which of the following substance is suitable to be used as an electrolyte? So electrolyte, it can conduct electricity. Eh? Uh, when the electricity is passed through it. Okay. So sucrose, or oh, sucrose no, because it's a covalent. Okay, no freely moving ions. Molten naphthalene, naphthalene also covalent, same. Hydrochloric acid, yeah, yes, it is. Uh, although it is a covalent compound, but when dissolve, uh, when dissolve in water, it forms the hydrogen ions, and then the chloride ions. Then hydrochloric acid, uh, so it can becomes the uh, electrolyte. Uh. Cyclohexane also, uh, covalent compound consists of molecules only, and then it, it cannot dissolve in water. Okay, question 14. Okay, which of the following pairs react to form the water and salt only? So water and salt only eh, is under neutralization. No? Neutralization between salt and water. Okay. So we look into one by one. Dilute sulfuric acid and magnesium. Okay, sulfuric acid H2SO4. React with magnesium. So it forms the magnesium sulfate and the hydrogen gas okay so it produces hydrogen gas not the salt and water only so A is out uh. dilute hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate okay hydrochloric acid with calcium carbonate so it forms the calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide it has extra carbon dioxide uh. so this one also out Dilute nitric acid with potassium chloride. No? Okay. So this is acid, this is a salt. So uh, under this, this has no reaction. No, no reaction. Okay. Mm. Because it is not the alkaline of best. Okay, dilute sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide. Okay, sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide. Okay, acid and the alkaline, so it forms the sodium sulfate and then the water. Okay, so balance the equation. So salt and the water. 
so it fulfilled the requirements so D is the answer okay 15 which of the following statement is true about all bases all bases okay dissolve in water okay no huh? not all bases dissolve in, in water it has alkaline properties also not all bases got the alkaline properties yes all bases react with acid correct contains hydroxide ions and uh, not all uh, not all bases contains uh, uh, hydroxide ions uh. for example like magnesium oxide calcium oxide it has no hydroxide ions uh. mm. okay so c is the answer 16 the formula of uh, sulfate ions in the and then the nitrate is NO3 minus okay if the formula of the sulfate of M is MSO4 so how about the nitrate okay uh, so this kind of questions uh, so you just need to know that if M is 2 plus I'm oh sorry uh, yeah it should be 2 plus so that when it react with the sulfate is 2 minus so interchange the numbers uh, so it becomes uh, uh, m as of 4 okay so if it is one positive it becomes m2 as of 4 if it is m plus okay and then sulfate so meaning that here we, sh we should know that it is under m2 plus so meaning that if now m2 plus react uh, Combine with nitrate, with the nitrate, with the negative one. So our answer should be M. Then M nitrate bracket two. Okay, so C is the answer. Okay, so if you have any question, you can uh, write the comments uh, under the comments so that we can discuss further. Okay, so when the powder of the salt P is heated, the following observation is obtained. Okay, so powder of salt P, eh? so what can we observe? Green powder turns black. Oh, okay, if green powder, it turns black. Okay, so you should know that. And then gas release turns the lime water cloudy. So meaning that this is the carbon dioxide gas. Eh? So in other words, this salt P, eh? It must contain as carbonate, no? carbonate, okay, carbonate ion. So should be this uh, carbon dioxide is out already, la. The carbon carbonate, zinc carbonate, and then sodium carbonate. Okay, so here, okay, green powder, okay, it turns to black. So we can have few methods to determine it. Okay, so first we can see which metal carbonate is green color is it carb carbon 2 carbonate zinc carbonate or sodium carbonate okay so if you know that green powder green color will be carbon 2 carbonate zinc carbonate is white color and then this one also white color huh? okay so the answer should be uh, then another one you can determine is turns to black in other words carbon 2 carbonate if you decompose it decomposition uh, so it forms a uh, carbon 2 oxide and then carbon dioxide so this is black color this is green color huh? turns black then the carbon dioxide it will turn the uh, lime water to cloudy okay diagram 3 shows the photogrammic glass that can protect our eyes from dangerous ultraviolet rays okay photochromic glass so photochromic glass so which chemicals use uh? so if you see a photochromic glass here yeah, so no, no need to uh, think again it is a soft, uh, silver chloride uh, silver chloride okay uh, 19 okay digital communication plays a very important role in modern living effective transmission of data voices images and digital form require a suitable material so what is the material uh, so it's fiber optic okay 
because under uh, now in Malaysia our streamix at home uh, okay now no more streamix are under under unify uh. unify actually using the fiber optic that's why the speed is much more higher compared to the streamix previously because pre streamix is still using the copper wire okay Which of the following has the highest rate of reaction? Highest rate of reaction? Okay, so uh, rusting, rusting is no, it takes long time. Fermentation also takes long time. Decomposition of food also takes long time by bacteria. Then combustion, yeah, among the four options here, combustion of alcohol is the highest rate. Okay, so D is the answer. Okay. Question 21. Okay, diagram shows the organic, organic compound. So which of the following is a homologous series of the compound? So homologous series, we have five in the SPM level. Alkane, alkene, alcohol, carboxylic acid, and ester. So which one is a homologous series? So if we see the, the compound here, uh, there is no double bond, so alkene is out. There is no carbos, uh, no hydroxyl group, so carbo alcohol also out. Carboxylic acid, no carboxyl group, so carboxylic acid. So double bond, no, so alkene, okay. Uh, here the answer, I think, should be some typing error, so it can be A or B, lah, huh? Say uh, A on B, so it's under alkane eh, because no double bond, carbon carbon double bond. Okay, which statement is correct about fats and oils? Fats and oils. Okay, number one, A. Fats and oils are chemically different. Okay, no, it's wrong. Fats and oils are mixture of organics and the glycerol. Okay, yes. Facts and so are not important because it leads to health problem. Okay, no. Facts come from the plants while oils come from animals. It should be reversed. Facts should be come from animals. Oils should be come from the uh, plants. Okay, so the answer is boy. Okay, 23. Which of the type of mixer is for barbiturate? Okay, barbiturate under... Uh, it's actually is a sleeping pill, sleeping pill. So it's under mm, barbiturate. So barbiturate will be uh, under antidepressant. Uh, okay, under psychotherapeutic medicine. Okay, um, it's not the antibiotics, not the stimulant. Okay, and then it's not the analgesic as well. So which of the following is uh, is the function of the laxating? So laxating is should be boil, okay, as the uh, stabilizer, okay, yeah. This is flavoring. This is a uh, preservative. This is antioxidant. Huh? So it's a stabilizer for the laxating. Twenty five. Okay, uh, diagram five shows the uh, heating curve of a substance N. Okay, which of the Give the correct states of the substance X, Y, Z. Okay. So it's not mentioned, but normally, yeah, logically, if here we solid, uh, huh, solid at temperature zero, it should be zero mentioned here. Okay, so solid, then solid and liquid, and then the gas. Normally, it's like that. Uh, huh? Okay, so let's check. Okay, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, so air is out. It cannot be like this. Uh, solid, and then it cannot, uh, Y cannot be liquid only, then gas. Okay, so this one is out. Uh. Solid, solid, and liquid. Okay, possible, but cannot be directly changed to gas. Uh, wrong. Solid, solid, liquid, liquid. Okay, this one is most. Liquid, liquid and gas, then uh, this one also wrong. Cannot be suddenly changed to uh, solid. If here, if this one is correct one, it should be gas. Uh. Okay, mm. so D, C is the answer. 
26 okay 26 diagram shows the information of the substance x so empirical formula is ch2 relative molecular mass is 42 so what is the molecular formula okay so we use the formula okay empirical formula times n equals to 42 so we replace in the uh, relative atomic mass 12 plus h is 1 times 2 times n so we find out the value of n so n is 14 42 so n is uh, 3 okay mm. so meaning that we re times in ch uh, sorry ch2 times 3 so meaning that c 3H6 C3H6 so C is the answer okay 27 e electron arrangement for covalent compound between P and Q P and Q so we can write out the electron arrangement first P will be 2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay P is 2, 5 Q is 1 Okay, so meaning that uh, we know we can predict uh, this one should be hydrogen 2,5 uh, should be nitrogen so in other words we know this is ammonia uh, ammonia okay mm. so which of the following is true low melting uh, low boiling point okay low boiling point check okay uh, yes covalent compound low boiling point Formed by electron transfer, no electron sharing should be sharing. Can conduct electricity in a liquid state, no, because it has molecules only. Ionic bond, no, covalent bond should be co uh, should be covalent compound. So A is the answer. Okay. Twenty-eight. Okay. P and Q. True about when P react with Q. So P. Okay. Let's write out the electron arrangement. P is 281. Okay, 281 should be group 1 metal. This one is Q is 26. So this is metal, non metal. So it will form a co uh, ionic compound. This one transfer 1 electrons to here. And this one gain uh, 1, but 27 only, meaning that it needs 2 P atoms, uh, 281. So the two electrons transfer to the Q, so it becomes 2, 8. So meaning that the formula will be P, 2, Q, 1. Okay, yeah. So let's see, P receive electrons, no, it should be donate or release electrons. Q receive electrons, okay, correct. Compound form is a PQ2, it should be P2Q, huh? and compound is a molecule, so it is ions. Uh, so it's a B is the answer, 28. And 29, electrolysis of X solution produce a brown solution at the A0. The solution change the starch solution to dark blue. So if you know this starch solution turns blue means iodine now, iodine. Okay. So iodine at uh, at the end not meaning that it needs to select the iodide ions to be discharged. So what is the so possible X solution? So bromide is not because uh, we need to find the iodide actually. So iodide. So B is the answer. 29 B. 30. Okay. Food packaging. Uh, this is a plastic bag. Okay. Which of uh, why packaging pollutes the oh, sorry pollutes the environment? Okay. Not easy biodegradable. Yes. Release poisonous gas. If it is burned, uh, is this burnt? Cause the formation of algae. Uh, not that obvious cause a blockage of the drainage system and cause a flash 
flat yes okay so mm, one three and four one three and four one two uh, sorry one two and four one two and four so C la is the answer question 31 Okay, the reaction between the magnesium and the sulfuric acid represented by the following equation. So a student wants to determine the rate of reaction for the reaction. Which method is the most suitable? So most suitable, here if we look into here, this S and P is a solid, huh? solid of purple jar in BM. Huh? This aqueous, this aqueous is a gas. So norm, uh, normally if we have the reaction that release the gases like carbon dioxide, oxygen, or hydrogen. So normally, is the best way we collect the gas and then over the time. So determine the change of temperature is quite difficult. Change of the con concentration also difficult. Huh? Then volume of hydrogen give off with time. Yes, this is the best way. Okay, this one also the same. So C la is the answer. <coughs> 32. Okay, which formula is isomers of butane? So butane is C4H10. So four carbons, 10 hydrogen. So what are the possible isomers? Huh? Okay, so we just try draft out the different structural formula. So C4, or C, 10H. Okay, so one is in one so c and d is out already so we, whether we determine two or three okay two we see okay this one directly we know this double bond so this one is out already la. a out so it should be three but we need to double check so c4 one two three four then 10 hydrogen okay it's correct so one and three b is the answer okay 33 which of the following uh, the following equation represent the decomposition reaction of hydrogen peroxide uh, which method most suitable to increase the rate of reaction so normally we will in use the catalyst uh, so under this manganese uh, under this hydrogen peroxide so we want to decrease increase the uh, rate of reaction so we will use the manganese for oxide. Oh. This is the catalyst. Okay, it's the best way. Question 34. The following ionic equation represent a redox reaction. Which statement is correct? Huh? So based on the equation given here. Okay, so magnesium. Change to magnesium ions. So uh, magnesium oxidation number is 0 0 to plus 2 increase uh, so it's oxidation so oxidation is a lost electrons uh, lost electrons couple 2 ions change to couple so plus 2 to 0 so it's reduction reduction is again electrons uh. okay, so we check one by one okay couple 2 ions oxidize okay no it's reduced Carbon 2 ions is reducing agent, so it should be oxidizing agent. Magnesium atoms undergoes oxidation. Okay, yes. Magnesium atom receive electrons, so it should be release electrons. Huh? So wrong. C is the answer. 34. 35. The following is an energy level diagram. So what is the conclusion? So this one, if we look into here. This is exothermic reaction because the energy content for the reactants is higher than the products. The heat is released. So we check which one. The product contains more energy than reactants. No, because it's lower. So wrong. Should be less. Hydroxide ions contain more energy than this one. We cannot determine it. But this one also the same. Okay. So heat is released uh, in this reaction. Yes, heat is released because exothermic. So okay, there is D is the answer. Okay, 36, 36. Okay, which pair is correctly matched? Okay, X cop 
Aspic acid to prevent oxidation that causes the rancid effects. Okay, correct. One is correct. So uh, C and D is out. Two, octyl ethanoic acid produce artificial uh, flavor. Yes, it's ester actually. Give flavor. Pectin, no, prevent uh, food from being spoiled. Uh, this is not the preservative. Uh. Pectin is a thickening agent. Thickener. Okay. Then aspartame. Aspartame is not thicken the food. It should be uh, is aspartame. Uh, is the is the f uh, not the thickeners. Okay. Mm. So it should be one and two. Okay. One and two. A. Thirty six. A. Thirty seven. What is the max minimum mass of the zinc required to react with excess uh, nitric acid to produce two twenty four thousand? Oh no, two thousand four hundred cubic centimeter of hydrogen at room condition. So, okay, first we need to calculate. Huh? Uh, we write out the equation with uh, zinc. We we. Nitric acid, so nitric acid. So produce zinc nitrate and then the hydrogen gas. So nitric acid need to times two here. So two, okay, correct. Balance already. So this one is excess. So the gas is two twenty four thousand cubic centimeter. So what is the minimum mass? Okay, so first we can find the mole first. Okay, find the mole for the hydrogen gas. So we can use uh, 24,000, uh, so 2,400, so it's actually divided by 1,000, it will be 2.4 cubic decimeter. So it's 2.4 over the molar mass is 24, so you will get 0 0.1 mole. Okay. So the mole ratio is 1 to 1, in other words, zinc also 0 0.1. So meaning that mass of the zinc will be 0 0.1 times the molar mass for zinc is 65. So it will be 6.5 gram. Mm. 6.5 gram will be D. Okay. 38. Okay, the following equation represent the decomposition of the solid carbon to nitrate. Na? Produce uh, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and then water. So, what is the volume of oxygen gas produced at room condition when 1.89 gram of solid carbon to nitrate is decomposed? Okay, so meaning that now we want to compare carbon to nitrate and then the oxygen gas. Okay, so again. We need to compare the uh, find out the mole ratio uh, mole first. Okay, mole. This is a solid given, uh, So mole of copper two nitrate, uh. So it's one point eight nine. The uh, copper two nitrate. Okay, we use the um, relative atomic mass to calculate the molar mass for the copper two nitrate. Okay, so we total up here. Copper is sixty four plus uh, N is uh, fourteen plus sixteen times three, so sixteen times three, so this one times two uh, times two. So use your calculator, you can calculate. So is value is one hundred eighty eight. Okay, so over the molar mass is one eight eight. So roughly you get zero point zero one. Okay, zero point zero one. So this is for carbon two nitrate. But how about the oxygen? So the ratio now is two to one. Okay, so mole ratio. Okay, two more of carbon two nitrate produce one more of. Uh, oxygen 
so if here is 0 0.01 more of carbon 2 nitrate so it produce 2 to 1 means half no? so means 0 0.005 more of oxygen so meaning that the more of the oxygen you need to use is 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.005 so meaning that now the volume of oxygen V more is 0 0.005 times the molar volume is 24 so you will get 0 0.12 uh, 12 cubic decimeter 0 0.12 B is the answer okay if you have any question, you can uh, write at the comment below. Uh. Okay, 39. The following chemical reaction shows the reaction between carbon dioxide and the nitric acid. Again, we need to calculate now. Uh. So, if 10 grams of carbon dioxide powder is added, calculate the mass of unreacted means remaining. Remaining. Okay, so okay, we have to use the. Okay for given to you is the nitric acid nah? given to you this one so we can calculate the more for the nitric acid first so mv over 1000 nah? m is 2 v is 50 over 1000 so you get 0 0.1 mole and 0 0.1 more okay so the more ratio is 2 to 1 so 2 more of nitric acid produce one more of carbon dioxide if 0 0.1 more of nitric acid so 2 to 1 again is a half la. 0 0.05 more of carbon dioxide okay so 0 0.05 so now if the mass of the uh, carbon dioxide needed to react so 0 0.05 times the molar mass molar mass Cu oh, Cu is for uh, so is 80 eh? given to you is 80 so no need for us to calculate again 80 so you get is 4 gram so meaning that the the um, the mass for the carbon dioxide reacted is 4 grams eh? 4 grams and then the unreacted unreacted carbon dioxide because it's given 10 so meaning that unreacted will be 10 minus 4 is 6 gram so sometimes you have to be careful here so it's 6 gram not 4 grams okay 40 okay element M oxidation number of positive 1 react with oxygen to produce a uh, M2 M2O M2O so M2O means that oxide is okay then what is the possible elements of M so with the uh, oxidation number of plus 1 okay so it's uh, sodium yes group 1 silver also possible calcium no because calcium is 2 plus okay hey, 3 and 4 are the same I think some typing error Okay, so it should be 1 and 2, and is the answer. Okay, question 41. Diagram shows a conversion between two students while carrying out an experiment. So, why this bulb is not light up? Maybe there is a problem with the wire connection. Okay, you will see here. Okay, this is a, a salt powder. Salt powder, you have to know if salt powder inside there will be the formula we are okay. mm, we test the carbon select okay and then if in the powder form mean it is in a solid the ions inside there is not in the fixed position it's not moving freely okay so it definitely cannot conduct electricity and then the bulb is not light up so what can the student do to overcome the problem okay replace the carbon electrodes with copper electrodes okay this one won't solve the problem pour the ethanol into the salt powder yeah no because 
ethanol is an organic solvent so it cannot help for the water yes if you put the water into the salt then the ions can be can ionize uh, then the ion becomes um, uh, move it can move freely so it can conduct electricity okay so this one powder with powder also not helping so C is the answer okay 42 it shows the method to store the elements okay paraffin oil sorry so paraffin oil so normally this one for group 1 uh. okay group 1 elements so which of the following explain why the method is used okay toxic and dangerous is very reactive actually reactive and volatile and then avoid the reaction with sunlight okay reaction with oxy water and oxygen okay it's reactive volatile but it's not the bad not the uh, best uh, explanation uh, because you want to avoid the reaction with water and the oxygen okay so it's D is the answer the others are not the most important one no? 42 the okay, diagram shows the structure of the water molecule okay incorrect so which one is wrong okay so each hydrogen atom donate no? donate is incorrect incorrect so one is incorrect now two share as I don't share two electrons with two hydrogen okay this one is correct huh? this one is correct one single covalent bond formed be in the molecule okay no, it should be wrong now wrong it should be two single bond Hydrogen atoms and oxygen atom achieve stable octet electron arrangement. Uh, for oxygen, octet yes, but the hydrogen, hydrogen should be duplicate. So this one also wrong. So the, because the question mentioned which one is incorrect, so one, three, and four is incorrect. One, three, and four. So B is the answer. Okay, team gas burns completely with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas produced complete combustion of 30 gram of eating gas at STP. Okay, so first uh, we need to calculate the mole for the ethane gas. So mole for ethane uh, C2H6. So mass is 30 molar mass for this one we total up C is 12 times 2 plus 1 times 6 so 24 plus 6 is 30 la. 30 so 30 so it's one more so we compare the mole ratio for the E10 and the carbon dioxide this one okay so one more c2h6 produce two moles of carbon dioxide so if so meaning that this one is two moles okay so meaning that if we want to calculate the volume of uh, carbon dioxide so it's two times the molar volume at stp is 22.4 so it's 44.8 cubic decimeter B is the answer okay 45 a student wants to identify the ions present in a salt solution when sodium hydroxide solution is added okay brown precipitate is formed so what is the method to be done next to observe the expected confirm the and then confirm the presence of ions so here we have to know if brown precipitate okay is iron 3 la. so iron 3 we can use potassium hexacyanoferrate okay yeah so it forms a red blood solution the others are not the confirmatory test for iron 3 ions so C la, is the answer okay 
So thermal chemical equation between nitric acid and potassium hydroxide. So this is a heat of neutralization. Okay, so what is the heat release? Mm. Okay, so given to you delta H is 57. So we can calculate the mole first. Okay, so mole for the nitric acid. We use MV of 1000 to V50 over 1000. So you will get the 0 0.1 mole. So mole for uh, potassium hydroxide is MV of 1000 2 times 25,000. So it gets 0 0.05 mole. So this one is smaller, so this is a limited, this one is excess. Huh? So we are going to look at this. So we are going to know normally is delta H is Q over the mole. So if we want to find the Q is delta H times the mole. So delta H is 57 times the mole is 0 0.05. So you will get Two point eight five kilojoule. Okay, two point eight five. So A is the answer. Oh. Forty seven. Okay, I need titration. Uh, titration. So we are going to use the formula. A uh, very popular question that is on. So M A V A over M B V B A over B. Okay. So here, uh, for the a is for the acid, B for the base or alkali. So we write out the equation first. Sodium hydroxide, okay, sodium hydroxide, sulfate acid. So it forms a sodium sulfate and then water times 2 times 2. So the A and the B refer to the mole for the acid and the alkali. Huh? So we just replace in. Sulfur acid is a MVA, so you need to find out the MA. Okay, so we just replace it MA. VA is 25. MB, MB is 0 0.1. VB is 50. A is for the more for the acid, is 1. B is more for the alkali, is 2. So we use a cross multiply. So we can finally find out that MA is MA use a calculator huh? use a calculator MA is 0 0.1 more per cubic decimeter. Any question you can write at the comment below. Okay, 20 uh, sorry 48 table shows uh, electrons and neutrons uh, for ions. Uh. Okay. So here this one is ions. Two minus two negative means that it gained two electrons already. So the initial electron should be eight now. Neutrons is the same. Okay, H plus means lost one electrons already. So initially it should be electron eleven electrons. L minus one means that gain one electrons of seventeen. Two plus means twenty. Okay. Yeah. So meaning that the nuclear number total up lah. Uh, so electrons, initial electrons, same as the protons. Okay, uh, so we total up the becomes a nucleon a plus. Uh, so it's twenty. This one should be twenty. Uh, okay, so this one should be twenty three. Okay, then this one plus total up is thirty five. So this one is correct. Uh, C is correct. So twenty. This one should be. 40. Yeah. So the answer should be C. Huh? Question 49. Element X react with element Y to form a covalent compound with the formula of XY2. So this is covalent compound. Yeah? Covalent compound. So meaning that it needs to uh, sh share the electrons uh, to form the covalent compound. So Y is 2 at 7. So meaning that, mm, 
y is 2 x7 so contribute one valence electrons to, for sharing so x so in other words if we can use this uh, formula okay x and then y so y needs to share one electron so x need to share two electrons okay so meaning that we need to find the uh, valence electron of six uh, so that it can share two valence electrons so not two uh, because if two x two is becomes ionic already huh? this one also ionic so not possible so it should be d huh? so meaning x is two six uh, two x six so x is two x six so it contribute two valence electron for sharing with one uh, y atoms uh? Okay, y contribute one for sharing, but two need to contribute two, meaning that y need two atoms of y la, to share with uh, one atoms of x. Okay. Okay. F last question: Which of the following is isomers for butene? Butene. So is C four H eight. It has a carbon carbon double bond. Next check carbon carbon double bond. Okay. So this one th definitely out already. No? It has one carbon carbon double bond only for butene. So this one totally out. No? Four is out. So one, three, one, two, three. So meaning that we just need to check number two is correct or not. Two is correct or not. C four H eight. So this one, yes, uh, this one is correct. Correct, this is also correct. So it's one, two, and three. Okay, mm. so that's for all for uh, Malacca uh, paper one 2020. If you have any questions, you can write uh, your comments, your questions under the comments uh, below, and then you also can share with this video with with your friends okay that is all for this video thank you very much